Coming to you live from the great state of Utah. Hello, everybody, and uh, happy Friday. Where is my intro here? Here we go. I'm writing, 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 writing in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Well, hello everybody. Welcome one more time. Here's the view outside our window. Luckily, we don't have any neighbors right now. They're bound to come back. Um, probably in a cruise America <laughs> or something like that. Um, you know, is that is this is live from our window here. It's four, almost four p.m. in the Mountain Time Zone. And um, where's everybody here? Eddie Negrete. Good afternoon, Robert Pelicans. Good afternoon. Uh, Andy Gonzalez, hello everyone, and uh, Cindy G, Paracord 101, and uh, William Oberlander, William and Jolly, and uh, yeah, we're coming here, to, actually today, uh, I didn't I didn't buy a new IPA, so today we, I, I just got back from a long hike, so we're going to celebrate with some, as I call it, Champaña de España. A good Spanish cava, and uh, it goes like this. No, no wonder. It's you know whoever. Oh, there we go. Hopefully we won't get any. No, it's all good. So I'm gonna serve me one, and these are not dirty. They're just plastic, and they're like really worn out. <laughs> Every everything gets worn out inside the RV. What can I tell you? This one is for Ely. And this one is for me. Celebrating that our next uh, international trip will probably be Spain. So there you go. I'm going to chill this here a little bit. Actually, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Let me put the cork over here. And uh, here we have Tania Martinez. Thank you for that super sticker. Thank you so much. A character appearing from behind. A cloud saying hiya. That's very cute. And uh, Estepani from Sierra Vista, Arizona. Awesome. You bought land here. Yeah, we bought land. Well, we haven't quite finalized it yet, but it's almost there. In Golden Valley. And it's uh, it's more of the about the location than the actual land in this case, but I'm very happy we did. El Mandalorian, cheers, Viva Spain! Yes, may one may one day we do El Camino de Santiago. Oh, this is the good stuff. <laughs> Trailer traveling, happy Friday traveling, Robert and Ileana Sanchez, and fellow Pelican heads from Ottawa. And Andy Gonzalez just moved to Idaho Falls from Louisville, Kentucky, only been here since Monday. Well, that's a nice area of Idaho. Um, and don't forget to visit uh, Twin Falls as well. And Christopher also celebrating 30, 39 months as a chief pelican head. Have you seen the Fruta Barn? Great place to take photos. Should be close to you. Well, in fact, tomorrow we're staying at the Fruta Campground. So, um, yeah. You know, we stayed at this place because it was full hookups. But if you see some white stuff on the ground there, that is no. And the owner here, even though to, to, to right now it's like 60 degrees, he refuses to, to turn on the water because it's supposed to uh, get cold, even though it's not even going to freeze tonight. But we're just, uh, you know, saving water because tomorrow we're going to dry camping. And that's the main reason we, 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 we served uh, the full hookup site. I digress. Can't, comp can't control the weather. We, uh, today was actually a great hike. I hiked to Cassidy Arch. I'm going to share with you a quick video here uh, because this was one that I had been looking forward to doing since since we came here 10 years ago in the, in the rental Class C. Let me see if this works. And yeah, it's, it's pulling the video from the external.
<laughs> unmute myself and mute the video because uh, all you all you hear in the video is some fellow hikers talking to each other and uh, i don't know if, if you can see me but i'm right there walking on top of the arch and this is one of the few arches to the, one of those few arches where they actually allow you to walk on top of it just because uh i mean you, you see how thick that arch is that that was uh probably about four hours ago that this video was taken and uh and yeah it's an incredible place it's amazing and uh yeah i was there and i had the gopro in my hand i had this yeah i did, did the jump like a plus k what can you do <laughs> now let me get to some of your comments here uh, jackie trujillo hey robert and everybody happy friday it's snowing a lot in toronto and it's already spring it's crazy weather yeah it's been uh, the late snowstorm here um Pretty much everywhere, I think. The RV dump station, thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. Happy Friday from Alabama. Happy Friday to you. Christopher Olson, we have that white stuff too. Yeah, you do, right? Yeah. The Fruta Campground will have a much better view. Actually, we drove by the Fruta Campground yesterday. And um, winterization is a foreign concept to Floridians. Yeah, completely foreign. I mean, yeah. It, I mean, you know, if, you know. Every, every fall, I have a moment of silence for those fellow uh, RVers and campers who have to winterize their RVs. So, hey, Jim in DC. Hey, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you, Jim. And. Um, Uh, Jeffrey De Bartolo just did my taxes today. Don't know how much I owe. LOL. I don't want to know. I don't want to remember how much I owe. Uh, anyway, um, uh, Paul Garbuski, Garbalski. Wow, amazing, Robert. Enjoy the canyon. Paul from Tel Aviv. From Tel Aviv. Oh, well, someday, someday we'll visit the beaches of of Tel Aviv. Um, Sissy and Wilma Adventures, good Friday afternoon, good Friday afternoon, and Brody, Brody, Brody is here along with Jeffrey Di Bartolo, and uh, and Young Dave, I have a picture of myself on top of Cassidy Arch from a different perspective, looking down at my shadow, well, there you go, good afternoon, what's for dinner, well, there's a really good rest, uh, Mexican restaurant in town, so we might just do that, uh, Jackie Roman, uh, good afternoon, Robert and Eliana, and uh, Michelle e e Ickins, uh, greetings from Northern Utah. You know, we haven't really done much in Northern Utah. I mean, we visited Salt Lake City two years ago, but um, uh, we're overdue for a trip to Northern Utah for sure. And uh, the toll road, thank you for that super chat. Excuse me, IPA or me. Yeah, this stuff has a lot more. Uh, carbon dioxide than IPAs you know I've been getting the I'm getting the burps here get Brandon Stargell hello hello happy Friday hello to you and happy Friday man I hope you're having a good time uh, RV camping and adventures thank you for that super chat thank you so much cheers everybody Michelle Gowlet Hey, Robert, happy Friday. How do you go about planning trip routes? My husband and I want to do a trip out west next year. Any ideas? Well, at this point, and uh, I'm, I'm privileged at that, I have a lot of, you know, pins on my Google map, you know, in the form of stars. So, um, and what I've been doing lately, I'm trying to, to go to the, the few places that I skipped on previous trips. You know, like I like I usually say, you know, someday we'll come back and do this and that. Hold on, this thing is not completely there. Uh, someday we'll come back and do this and that. Well, that's what we're doing kind of on this trip. Like, we had driven through Capital Reef. We had never done anything in Capital Reef. Of course, it is our unlucky week. It it There was a snowstorm last week, so a lot of the stuff is, is closed, like the, the wash road, so some of the scenic drives outside the main scenic drive are closed. That's why I had to hike eight eight miles today instead of just uh, maybe two. Um, 
And I also, and, and I still use it and not a sponsor at all whatsoever, Road Trippers. I really like their interface. I like that they suggest points of interest along your route. And uh, yeah. The Mandalorian, the Miami video was awesome. I I am glad you liked it. There, there will not be a Miami video for a while now, but the next uh, video actually begins in Miami. Uh, Christopher Olsen did my taxes here in Sweden, took me five minutes, get 70 bucks back, so I'm happy. Well, mine took a whole day, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Uh, I did. Let's let's just say I didn't get anything back. Uh, Kevin Bangley had to rewinterize after Big Ben two weeks ago. Has dropped below freezing already. Oh man! Uh, have you visited Bryce Canyon? It's an amazing, beautiful place. Yeah, we went. We were in Bryce Canyon like two or three days ago. I forget. It was all snowed in, so. Um, and there was a lot of people even with the snow, so we couldn't park anywhere with a rig into it. I was super tempted to get a site. That there were like three free sites at the campground there. But uh, we decided to to go with plan A and not plan B. But, which actually Bryce was in plan A. But then the trail that I wanted to do in Bryce, which is the one, one of those things we we left for the next time, it was the Navajo Trail, which is closed because of snow. So no. Jim in DC, I thought, Robert, you might be in the neighborhood since it is so freaking cold again for cherry blossoms. The festivities scheduled for tomorrow have been put off a week. Oh, man, I remember what was it that two or three years ago that we went and uh, and it was very cold in DC when I, when I took my mom. Tori used to have a fantastic restaurant called Cafe Diablo. The rattlesnake cake appetizer was delish. Rattlesnake cake. I don't know if I want to have that. I'm sure it's delish. Um, I'm going to check if they, they're still around. I mean, the, the place we went last night was uh, surprisingly good. Um, uh, Robert Menard. Hey, Robert, you're lucky for the weather. Tomorrow's snowstorm. 12 inches of snow, Robert, from Sutton, Quebec, Quebec, Canada. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I I don't know. I know about inches of rain, but feet of snow, I'm, I have no idea. Uh, I'm, I'm I don't know if I should reset the chat here because I'm so behind. Uh, uh, Jill sixty nine wants to know how Starship running is running really good actually. Knock on. Uh, whatever material Winnebago used to, to make this dinette. Um, I'm going to have to do an oil change soon. I don't know if uh, in, in Moab or we'll uh, go to a larger town after Moab, but yeah. I mean, this is good. Young Dave, Calf Creek turned out to be pretty nice. Eh? Yeah, and wait till you see the drone footage I have that I took from the top of the, of the hump, uh, the... The the hug back. Uh, Rafael Yakaping Ugale, are you went in Utah, Robert? Yeah, we're in Utah right now. One of my favorite states, let me tell you. It's um it's been outstanding. R and R Adventures. Thought about you the other day, Robert, when I pass by Jenny's Campground in Dahlonega, Georgia. I remember the video you did back in the day of that place. Jenny's Campground in Dahlonega, Dahlonega. Yeah. That's a great area. I love Northern Georgia. That that might be the next Peli Camp. That might, if, if we, I mean, if we can find something that, you know, maybe a small plot of land with a log cabin we'll see uh, earl wilson celebrating five months as a chief pelican head hello from a breezy antelope valley california finalizing a four-month trip to the up of michigan and then the great lakes i want to i want to go back to the to the, the to the up for sure irresistible silver hello from france oh bon, bon, bonjour, bonsoir Vive la France. 
And William Brody, Brody, Brody celebrating 24 months as the chief pelican head. A good Friday chicken on this trip yet? A good Any good fried chicken on this trip yet? Friday chicken. In between the champagne and that long hike that I did. <laughs> it's, a, it's a miracle I'm being somewhat coherent here. <laughs> Uh, hur hur hooray play pass in Moab was a fun place for us to camp. Uh, yeah, we, we we're staying a couple of nights at the Sun Outdoors Resort there in downtown, but maybe we'll boondock a couple more nights, you know. Uh, Reming Passion says, uh, you've got a nice cool weather out there, traveling rover, compared to the dry summer weather of the Philippines. Well, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it's kind of dry cold and it's, it's very, you know, this morning it was like blue skies, 32 degrees. By the time I got to the trailhead, it was probably in the forties. But then by the time I got to, to the, to the actual Cassidy trail, it, I was sweating, so I, I had to take my 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 jacket off, and um, and and it was beautiful until like I want to say one p.m. and now it's uh, cloudy with a chance of meatballs and the rain and uh, yeah, it's um, let me pan to the left here a little bit. It's a better view, better view. I tell you, Marco Canerva. Hey, Robert from Sweden. Yep. One of these days, we'll go back to Sweden. Queen Bear Spring was declared on Sunday afternoon with a breaking record. Earliest ice out on Lake Winnie here in the center of the state of New Hampshire. Grass is real green. May have snow up tonight. There you go. Yeah, it's crazy weather. Hands on Adventure, stay celebrating 27 months as a chief pelican head. Is money well spent? Thank you for all you do. You're very welcome. I mean, if you're a member or a patron, you know, you get access to pelican head updates, which are videos that I make like a, a, on the spot. Like just an hour ago, you got a video from Cassidy Arch and. Uh, and I'm trying to see if we can gift memberships, but I cannot for some reason. I don't know. Maybe they took that feature away. So much for that. <laughs> so let me get back here to my... <laughs> the toll road. I have a friend get bitten by a pelican at Robbie's. Did you have anything to do with that? Was he trying to feed the pelican? That could be. That could have been it. <laughs> Sharon B is flooring and coast to coast. I don't know about the rest of you, but with la with last year's drought and our traveling, our yard is dead. Long live the weeds at this point. Um, well, they got a lot of rain in the, uh, in the West Coast uh, this year, so a lot of snow, so Maybe that, that drought is getting better. Mm. Oliver DeVries, uh, you get a chance to, an opportunity to see the temporary lake that formed a death valley from all the rain. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get a chance. We didn't get that far west. In fact, the farthest west we got on this trip was probably Area 51, believe it or not. Yes, we did. We didn't go into Area 51. We didn't break any rules, but we got to the point where you see the the white SUV and the sign with the no trespassing and this and that. Yeah, Brandon Stargell celebrating 54 months. 54 months as a chief pelican head. Thanks for scratching the itch to hitch for us. That can go, Robert. Oh, you're welcome, and uh, thank you. Thank you for being a member for so long. Mason Tubbin, Vegas is awesome. I love Vegas. The only thing, it rained like almost the whole time we were in Vegas last week. 
<coughs> we did to, we did get to go to the the sphere which uh you can hear about it in my podcast from this morning or there there'll be a video like in a month from now <laughs> dnr small engine repair sorry i have not been around much i have been working a lot well working is always good uh that sounds like the new alfred hitchcock's movie the birds, but with pelicans. The revenge of the pelicans. I hope someone in Hollywood is uh, listening because that would be a great movie. Can you imagine? That that would be a real, you know, like, like horror film. We're just getting all this weather out of the way ahead of the eclipse. Yeah, hopefully, you know, we don't want we don't want a cloudy weather for the eclipse, even though. If it is a solar eclipse, you'll still experience the the it getting dark and feels like like nighttime for four minutes or so. So um, still, it, I would really like to see the Ring of Fire. Uh, rain in Las Vegas is kind of weird, yeah. But we did get a, a lot of rain. I mean, we didn't really get, had some these grand plans for Las Vegas. Not in Las Vegas as much as. I wanted to to get out into the the the, the Mojave Desert, you know, do a, maybe part of the of the Mojave Road, explore a little out there. But if it's raining, all that sand turns into mud, and even though Starship can go almost anywhere, I I'd rather not. Did you make it as far west as Great Basin National Park? What did you think? We we passed by it, but we didn't go into it. You know, you have to sometimes pick your battles and. Uh, and we're going to save Great Basin for a future trip. Where are we staying? Celebrating 44 months as a chief pelican head. Got to run. Have a safe and fun weekend. You too. You too. <coughs> and Wes Connor, thank you for that super chat. Greetings from Mineral Bluff in beautiful North Georgia mountains. North Georgia mountains. That's uh, I don't think they're a secret anymore, but that's like awesome. How were the night skies in West Texas when when the moon wasn't out? I mean, I got so I got a great night time lapse at Great Basin, not um, Jesus Basin, in in um, Big Bend National Park. Uh, Sharon B. Okay, thanks, Robert. I was worrying about clouds and I didn't think of it that way will still be dark during the eclipse yeah um it's not like uh, last year we, was it last year that we had this annual er eclipse and there were, there were a bunch of youtuber friends of ours actually that that did a, a eclipse party and what happens during an annular eclipse yeah you get to see the ring of fire but it doesn't really get dark you know it gets dark ish and it, it was super cloudy so they, they didn't really see anything which kind of sucks but in this one it will get dark even if it is uh, cloudy so quick question how would you live stream in europe when it is 6 p.m here uh, it's 11 p.m or 12 a.m in eastern europe um we might do it earlier we might i might do it right before going to sleep actually we did one at midnight in finland Kind of during, no, it wasn't, never mind, Norway, kind of during the midnight sun. So uh, we were we were in, in the North Cape in Norway. Um, but yeah, I, and back then I, I was regular with the live streams, but it was kind of different. If I was at a place, I did it more like a video showing you guys uh, how it was. <coughs> um did you see Roadrunner RV Resort whilst in Terralingua, Texas? I don't think we did. We stayed at Paisano, Paisano RV Resort. Um, no, we didn't. But we, we, but we went to Terralingua and we uh, ate at the, at the Starlight Theater. Very cool town. We, we hope to, to return someday 
Barry 81 Jones celebrating 12 months as an executive producer. Great looking campsite. So what are the plans for Pelicamp 2 in Arizona? Cheers and happy Friday. Well, Pelicamp uh, 2 or Pelicamp West. Some people told me to call it uh, Roadrunner uh, uh, Road Camp or, or Quail Camp, actually. There's a lot of quail in that area. Um, there's no immediate plans. When we return to the West to January or February, the plan is to just build a driveway. And if time permits, a one or two RV sites, you know, a septic and one or two RV sites. I'm thinking just simple, just a round driveway, one side on one side on each side, um, depending where we want to look at the mountains to the west or the mountains to the east, and um, we'll take it from there. I'm not I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of money. Uh, I'm gonna spend the minimum just to have a location, location centrally located. You know, we're 90 minutes from Vegas, one hour from Bullhead City. We're like two hours from the Grand Canyon, about three and a half from Quartzsite. Um, and very close to Utah. So, uh, Jay from Massachusetts, thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. Keep up the great work, Rob. Thank you. Cheers. Maybe an eclipse. You know, I used to love the Mitsubishi Eclipse. That was the first car that came with this futuristic lines, you know, like... Like your doors, you know, your your window wasn't horizontal like this. It was like angled like that. It's uh, the original one. Anyway, I digress. Barry81 Jones, thank you for that super sticker. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Thank you. I'm glad you think of that. And everybody, say hello to my mom. Mom is here. Hello, greetings and blessings to everyone. Love, mom. So say hello to my mom and Journeys by Jay. Hello there. One RV site for you and one for me. Cool. Yeah. One for you, one for, you know, the, the, the guests. You know, it's, it's going to be like like Pelicamp, uh, Florida. No, no, I'm not going to rent it or anything like that. Uh, we have City Water, which is a great plus because everybody in, the, in Arizona, most people in Arizona have to, like, uh, have the water delivered. Or pay an, an inordinate amount of money for a, for a well. And uh, we have the power pole right there. The only negative about that uh, property is uh, a wash, which I kind of like having a wash. I, you know, it kind of gives it that Arizona feel. Uh, we have a lot of Choya cacti that we're going to try to, I mean, I'm going to keep some of them just far away, you know. So, um, it looks good. It's it's a good looking cactus. It's just uh, like a horrible plant if you step on it. Bob Leach, when setting your up your Starlink antenna, does the app require you to scan the sky each time? Nope, it does it by itself. <coughs> and actually, in Minitini three here, I have a uh, Minitini four. Sorry, I have the the, the one that that is um, mounted on the roof permanently, so it doesn't really move. But no, you, I mean, you, 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 the scanning is an option if you, if you want to find out if you have any obstructions or whatnot, but uh, it's not a requirement. And someone just arrived here. One of the guys from that trailer there. Should we, should we gossip? No, no, let's not gossip. <laughs> MC Biker Gone Fishing. Thank you for that super chat. Thank you. And, uh, and the, the, your first super chat on the live stream. So thank you so much. Uh, Jimmy DC, what's the IPA tonight? Actually, I, I had this. I have one kind of the same IPA I had last week, but today we're having. You know, since I did what probably my second longest hike to date, uh, we're celebrating with some Spanish cava, which I call it champagne from España. And uh, that's what that's you know that's how we do it. There, there, there's uh, no rush. Uh, Hakim Olaj Olajuwon, what's a wash? Good question. Th those of us who are not native to the desert didn't know what a wash was. A wash, generally speaking, in the desert is an area with more vegetation, a little lower elevation, so it's like. But what happens to a wash when it rains? It becomes a creek or a small river. So you, you once you, once you see it, you spot it, and you don't build anything close to or or, or in the wash. 
And uh, that's what it is. It's a, it's a dry river that becomes a river when it rains. Garza's on the road. Let's watch them back in. No, they're, they're already here. They're just... Uh, they, 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 no, no, that's not it. Never mind. They, 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 they were probably in the park and they just got back. Um, had you showed up earlier, this guy next door, you know, it, he was like, what's wrong with the water here? Because they have the water turned off. So we won't be taking any any good showers until we hit Moab in two days, in three days, actually. Uh, how long was today's hike? Bob Leach asks. Uh, well, today was probably about eight miles in total. Uh, this is the thing. I wanted to do Cassidy Arch. Cassidy Arch is only one and a half miles one way. But the road that goes to Cassidy Arch is closed as most of the cool roads and hikes are closed here in, in, in where are we? Capital Reef. Um, because it's we had a snowstorm uh, last week, so you know everything is soggy and muddy and uh, whatever. whatever. Um, so I had to hike another hike, which is the the the, the great or the yeah the great wash hike, which is uh, an extra two and a half miles or so. It depends. The National Park Service says, tells, says it's 2.2. 2. All trails says it's 2.3. In reality, all my GPS trackers said 2.5. So I figured 2.5 plus 2.5 is 5, plus 3 going up and down from Cassidy is 7. And then I had to do a short hike to go to the bathroom because, you know, sometimes you, you need to relieve yourself. So um, I figured give or take between seven and a half and eight miles and i think that's kind of one of the longest ones i don't think angels landing is even eight miles i know uh yosemite point was a little more than that is the ankle fully recovered mr Roboto? i think these types of injuries you never quite fully 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 recover i mean on the way down towards the end of the hike it was hurting a little bit and then I drove back here to the to where we are, which is about a 20 minute drive. And when I got out of the car, you know, I'm already cold. And it's right now it's fine. Right now it doesn't hurt anymore. I'm a little sore. I'm gonna be a little sore tomorrow, I'm, I'm sure. But um <clears throat> I'd say I'm 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 as recovered as as it's gonna get. And I'm I, I'm fine with it. If it hurts a little bit here and there or when it's about to rain, you know. It's the price of the adventure. What can you do? Young Dave, Area 51. Did you go all the way to Rachel to check uh, to check out the little alien? Yes, we did. Actually, we wanted to stay at the RV park, but they, uh, they, they were expecting some people who never actually came, actually. So they offered for me to boondock in their parking lot for free. And I'm like, oh, yeah, thank you very much. That was great. And uh, I bought a souvenir, and they sold me, a, I mean, for like 49 cents, a map of Area 51. And the, the two or three spots where you can get close to Area 51. So we did that against the advice of some of you. But I'm like, if according to every everybody and them, it's it's as long as you don't go past that trespassing sign, you're within your right to to drive to that point. So we did. We did two of the roads that go. The first one is the the back entrance, which has all kinds of cameras and gates. And yeah, that was what that was, was kind of scary. And then we did the other one where you go, yeah, you, eventually you encounter that sign and there's the guy in the white SUV on top of the hill and you are like, okay, I'm making a U-turn right now. <laughs> uh, Shal Shala, uh, when will Mini Tini 5 arrive? Um, well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm going to call it Mini Tini 5 because it might be a different type of rig. And uh, I'm not sure exactly. Some I'm hoping sometime this summer. Remy Passion, how's your ankle doing? As I just said, yeah, it's uh, it's. I think it's as good as it's gonna get. I mean, I just need to. The more exercise I do, you know. Um, Robin Minkler, I hope you're getting a discount due to no water. Nope, he didn't offer any discount. And also, the laundry is closed because of a drought. I don't know. <sighs> I should have asked before I made the reservation. He should have said something. They, they should have something on the website because, you know, if I'm not going to have any water, there's BLM land here, 10 minutes away. I could have stayed there, run the generator, and it'd be the same. But, hey, 
Hey, Alan Chitwood, there's gold in them, their washes. They used to dry wash for gold in the Mojave Desert. Hey, there may be a treasure just underneath Pelicamp West. Let's see. A wash is what you don't have often if you dry camp too long. Well, that much is certain, yeah. I'm so glad you guys don't have smell of vision <laughs> John M. Hello, Robert from Canada. I love your vlogs. Thank you. Thank you so much. I've loved making them. And uh... Estepani, you'll be pretty close to Colorado River, too. It stays nice and cold in the summer. Well, uh, yes, actually, I'm one hour away from the, the Colorado River in Laughlin, Nevada. Patricia Ezel, enjoy Utah, beautiful area. Yeah, it's one of my favorite states for sure. Danielle Psalm T. Arañas, uh, sing Desert Rain because it's raining at your place. Not quite, but it's... It's... It may, may, may be getting better, huh? I don't know. What do you guys think? But you did not stop next door. Area, area 52... That's where they make the B-52s, don't they? <laughs> uh, let me reset the chat here, see some of the longer messages. Would you consider getting a Class B? What are the pros and cons? Class Bs, pros, you can park it anywhere. It could be your daily driver. You don't need to tow anything else. Cons, except for the uh, panoramic. I haven't seen a class B with large enough holding tanks. So that's the main con. That's uh, the main reason. Meet and greet in San Antonio after Austin. Maybe. A good maybe. We may do something in San Antonio, actually. But I don't want to, you know, the, we, we were talking about, you know, because I, I'm this is all part of a deal with Sun Outdoors that I'm doing a couple of videos for them. And um, and the idea was suggested to to do like a, a a meet and greet at the campground, but it's not official yet. We we don't have anything, so I don't know. What's the hike tomorrow? Hickman Bridge, maybe. The view looking south from about halfway up the trail is magnificent. Not tomorrow, probably Sunday. Hickman Bridge will probably happen Sunday. But yeah, definitely want to do that one. Do you need a septic tank on the new property to stay longer than 30 days? I was watching another YouTuber who mentioned that about Golden Valley. Yes, more than uh, more than 15 days, actually. 14 days. I think 14 days is the most the most you can spend in one go with a septic tank. So, yeah, I am going to get a septic tank. I'm going to try to get the smallest one I can get away with. And, uh, yeah. Don't forget to visit us here in Kauai. We have some really beautiful hikes. Here at the Koki State Park, you can go backpacking at Kalalau. One of these days, we'll, we'll visit uh, our 50th state, but uh, we'll see. Hey, Filippo, it's been a long time. Hello, Roberto. Greetings from Italy. I just returned from a tour in Arizona. How do you like it? Cheers. Oh, this is the good stuff. Uh, FS777, congrats. Thank you for that super chat. Congratulations on Pelicamp West. It is a great location. Fred and Sandy. I thought so too. We, you know, I, we, we did the Sholo area and the, you know, we're, I'm actually following the footsteps of, of other YouTubers, RVers that uh, have bought property at different places. In fact, I... Uh, I saw the area where Nomadic Fanatic, Camper Van Kevin, uh, all these um, folks are, Antrit, our friend Antrit, um, our other friend Mark in the in the Snowflake area. Then we went to the area where Aja, Pandemonium, and other people have bought, you know, which is that junction, the Grand Canyon Junction. We actually stayed at the, at the Flintstones RV Park, Raptor or something, whatever it's called. But... Yeah, it's we kind of like being forty minutes from the Grand Canyon, but we said maybe maybe not. And then Golden Valley just felt right, and we found uh, I wanted something bigger, but um, Jill sixty nine traveling where can I go to Pelican West and pan for gold in your wash? Yeah, 
sure, I mean, if, when it rains, I'm sure it becomes uh, quick. Anything strange in the sky as well around Area 51? I could tell you, but you know, actually, my camera, I, I, it, it was, it was 28 degrees. It was, I was with wind. I wasn't gonna stay out there all night looking for ET, but I left my camera doing a time lapse, and there was something interesting in the sky. You're gonna have to wait about three weeks to see it, but. Uh, or more, actually. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be able to finish editing all this. But Charlie Grace, greetings from warm northern Alabama. Well, it's warm here now, but it, it gets in, in the 30s at night. So it's raining here in South Florida. Yeah, so we gathered from our security cameras and, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, you know, uh, relatives' uh, uh, testimonials. Uh, Congratulations on Pelizona. Yeah, Pelizona is a good name. I'm warming up to it. First time buyers, recommendation on a fifth wheel. I'm not a fifth wheel expert. Uh, I would say if money is no object, that Brinkley looks beautiful. New Horizon looks great. And, uh, but I don't know. I mean, Grand Designs used to be, seems to be like the most popular one. Like we have a Grand Design right there, right there, right there. Hold on. Let me pan left a little bit. That's a solitude right there. And our, our friend, uh, Jason, you know, the pilot, and I'm sure you've, you've seen the videos of him and us. Uh, he has a grand design solitude too, so I don't know. Young Dave, I see that Cathedral Valley road conditions are unknown on the MPS website. Probably not happening for you on this trip. Probably not. And we tried to, to do the Hell's Backbone. That's in Grand Staircase, Scalante. And he said impossible. So we're like, oh, we have Starship. Well, why not? You know, we, we started going up with it and we never made it to the road. Halfway up, you know, it's a pretty steep climb and it started to get really, really muddy. And, uh, you know, one of those when you start losing control of, of steering, it's that muddy. And I'm like, you know what? I'm putting this baby on four low and we're going to make a U turn and get back. And so we did. So we'll do the Hell's Backbone um, next time. We'll come a little later in the year. Or make sure that there's not a snowstorm like the day before. Did I miss anything here? We went to Capitol Reef and ate at one of the... Well, that, that pie, we, we're probably going to do that pie either tomorrow or are they open Sunday? Does anybody know if they're open Sunday? Otherwise, Monday morning, we're going to be there Monday morning. That's because I'm easy. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Uh, I'm trying to see here. You may be receiving from visit from the Men in Black. Recovering your Area 51 recording. Maybe. Are they going to use that thing that erases your memory? We anticipate visiting Roswell this summer. We I was in Roswell. Ely hasn't been there, but I was in Roswell. And it's neat. The, the, the Alien Museum is neat. It's a neat town, but... I don't know if it deserves a revisit. Of course, I'm going to take Ely there uh, one of these days. But um, yeah, what kind of specs? What? Snacks. Snacks. Uh, we're keeping the pantry of Mini Tini 4. Only when hiking. Hiking, yeah, energy bars for hiking. And we do like pork rinds. You know, they're, they're a. Carb free, so nuts sometimes we have nuts because we're nuts, <laughs> and, and <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it.
Men in Black, as long as they subscribe first. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, ask Remy, there are no aliens, no evidence exists. Well, you know. I had a dream. <laughs> I used to watch the, the X-Files, so I want to believe. <laughs> But yeah, there's no evidence. Yeah. Uh, beef jerky. Yeah, we're not really into beef jerky. We're not really into Doritos. You know, your hands get all full of that fake cheese stuff. So uh, Jimmy DC says, hi, Illy. Hi. And... Uh, A foggy trail next week after the MIB. Robert won't understand why people are asking him about Area 51. Area 50, what Area 51 are you guys talking about? Is there such a thing? And Ely says, hi. <laughs> um, and I don't have any new messages here, so I, 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 we know we're going to quit. So he's having um, back surgery Sonia? next week, so wish him, wish her well. Oh. Yeah. Wishing you well, Sonia. <laughs> okay, here we, I'm gonna go back and see Utah Benonite Mud. Mennonite, no, Benonite. <laughs> I was thinking Amish, never mind. <laughs> It's really, really slippery, almost impossible to drive on. We do have mine. So, yeah, that's a, that was probably that kind of Mennonite, I mean, Ben. <laughs> We're having way too much fun here. It was very slippery, yeah. And you know, Starship is a beast. You know, it, it, it would go almost anywhere. But yeah, it was a... If it is flat, it'll, it'll do it. But this was like kind of uphill. And uh, yeah, no. Uh, Journeys by Jay tell the men in black that they can wait to see it just like the rest of us. Yeah. Can they erase my, my hard drive too? So I have some of that stuff on, on tape, on, on, I mean, on, on disc, on plate, you know, hard drive plate. <sighs> Macadamia nuts, we like those too. And Magic Spoon, yeah, we have some, actually, we have, we have a crap load of Magic Spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Because they sent me every single flavor they have. So I'm going to start donating that stuff. We only have four left. We do? Yeah. Okay, we only have four left. <laughs> Robert looks spent. Nice time. I'm not spent, but I'm I'm nicely worn out. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, I have a nice farmer stand, if you can tell. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> My dad used to say, you are what you eat. Of course, he would always say that when we eat, that when we eat turkey or nuts. There you go. Hey, Richie Ganoa, we missed you in Vegas. But our, our stay was so brief and the weather was so crappy that I didn't think of reaching out. You know, it's like, well, we, we just, unfortunately, besides the night that we went to the Sphere and then the, the Palazzo, we actually made a profit at the Palazzo, believe it or not. Illy did. Yeah, she's, she's the lucky one. Anyway. Is, hi Robert and Lily, are you moving away from South Florida? No, not anytime soon, but uh, we're keeping our, our our options open. Lily was laughing at something, I, I don't know what it was. Anyway, I'm just gonna go down here. When I tell my wife we're going to go there, but not today, some other time, she says, oh, be quiet, Robert. Oh, well, you know, I've, I've known to do that, but I've known to go back to the places I said I was gonna go back to, like here. For example, that's what she said. What did she say? Dude, Tapatio Doritos are worth the cheesy fingertips. Tapatio Doritos. Well, I like Tapatio, the, 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 the hot sauce. And Barbie says, hi, Ely. Ely says, hi, Barbie. Best of luck with Pelicam 2.0. Excited for the eclipse and ready for hiking from Latisha Carver. Hoping to go Hocking Hills in two weeks. Awesome place. Hopefully you it won't happen to you like it happened to me that all the waterfalls were dry. But I hear they have great waterfalls at Hawking Hills. Are there any differences from Tony Hagnas 
uh, between American and European caravan traders. I've never been to the USA. There are several differences. You guys have cassette toilets. Well, caravan trailers, if, if it is a small van, it, the Americans usually have cassette toilets these days. But we usually have a black water tank that we attach a hose to and then we dump the poop on the, on the appropriate receptacle. Same with our gray tanks. We have a hose that goes into a receptacle. Gray tanks in, in, in Europe, you just find a place, you know, they had like a grate on the ground and it's, it's just, just a pipe that, you know, just drop it down there. And uh, the only other difference is that we have a city water connection. So if we are at a full hookup RV, RV site, which this was supposed to be one, but it's not, um, you get city water. So you don't use your tank or your water pump <clears throat> and over there, you, I, I think the, the only way is uh, uh, Stephen Priva. It's a uh, I'm losing my train of thought here. It's um, you always use your your fresh water tank, and for and uh, here, ninety nine percent of RVs have air conditioner. Uh, the European ones, a lot of them don't have air conditioner on the roof. Otherwise. I mean, it's pretty much the same. The truth is out there, says Paracord 101. And Steven, Speedy Recovery for the RV DJ from the Gar says, Steven Privy, too much bubbly. Perhaps. I'm, so, I'm you know, I'm celebrating my, my long hike. <laughs> Raul Medina, bring me some magic spoon and sign the box when in San Antonio. Which flavor would you prefer? Stopping at Goblin Valley on the way to Moab, thinking about it. Thinking about it because we have tonight at, tonight's at Fruta. But since it is dry camping and no generators allowed, if we run out of juice by like 1 or 2 or 3 p.m. or mid-afternoon, we might just make our way somewhere out west, charge the battery a little bit. And this is the thing. Since there's no cell phone signal anywhere here, uh, we, we keep we, we keep as long when we are in the trailer, we keep Starlink on twenty four seven, and Starlink in motion consumes like two hundred watts. And even though we have four hundred watts on the roof of solar, you you know, on a day like today, we're not getting anything close to that. Actually, let me see how much we're getting. Right now we're getting a whole 39 watts of solar. So um, our solar cannot keep up. I mean, if, 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 we ever, if we were just to keep on our refrigerator and Starlink on, solar will not keep up with it. So, um, Did you stop at Pistachio Land in Alamo Gordo, New Mexico? Must love pi pistachios. I love pistachios, but we didn't, no. Nope. The Lost RVers, thank you for that super chat. Ah, you're an official Westerners. Welcome. Cheers. Yes, I love it. Uh. Viking Aviator. Hi, Robert and Lily. Any plans to make an Alaska in winter series? That was the plan for last month, actually. But we ended up not doing it. I mean, there's only so much you can do, and uh, not, not. We we will, hopefully next winter. I definitely want to see Alaska in winter. Maybe finally be able to, to see the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis. Hocking hills in the snow is gorgeous. I would love to see that actually. Uh, hello, uh, 61 Carry on Rooks, 66 on our way to the campground. We'll have fun. Do you prefer ankle boots or shoes? Kings or Merrill? Actually, I bought myself a, a very expensive pair of Solomon boots, um, which I've worn a couple of times, but uh, I prefer my, my Merrills. Yeah, that's what I've been using today. And uh, yeah, uh, my mom says, thanks, love, mom. And we're almost running out of town, 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 town of time here. I swear, this thing keeps growing. I don't know. It's like reproducing. It's weird. It's multiplicating. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that some of the Earth Roamer rigs only have a cassette? I suppose it's kind of that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Any rig that you plan to to use worldwide, and if we ever 
when we ever plan to do that yeah we're gonna have to do a cassette toilet i would have i would love to have like a two or at least one or two spare cassettes because i mean if you poop a lot <laughs> okay he is, he is giving me the rolling eyes that thing fills up in one day one, one and a half days so it's uh <laughs> gonna hit monument valley on the way south i don't know from moab i don't know exactly the route we're gonna take it depends on colorado maybe maybe we have like a like a little over a week of buffer time between Moab and the Eclipse. So, we'll see. Hey, Lewis and Clark, I hadn't seen you. Good. Hey, Gord, and uh, here we go. I'm trying to read 200 watts. Pff, nothing. Yeah, we have, uh, yeah, we have 400 on the roof, but, you know, I, I don't have a big rig like you, Remy, if you can have 100 watts in the... Uh, the TND Camping Adventures. So thank you for that super chat. Keep up the good travel, ING. And uh, your fifth super on the live stream. So thank you. Celebrating your fifth. And the list says TMI. Is there, was that about my poop comment? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Traveling Robert, I keep refilling the wine glass when you're not looking. That's I know it was, had to be you. It had to be you. <laughs> oh gosh. There you go. Could you ever get used to cassette toilet? Could you walk the u urine tank to the boathouse? Not for me. Forget it. Well, I did it for two weeks when I was in Finland. I mean, you get used to it. And um, but they have the places there for the, 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 the places they, they have like a most and not not two of them are the same. That's the one thing. Sometimes it's just a hole on the ground. Like in Rovaniemi, it was like like a manhole. You know, just drop it down there. Like in the more sophisticated places, it's like like a like like a like a aluminum or stainless steel kind of sink with all kinds of faucets and things for you to clean the thing. It's it's really sophisticated. So it depends. I mean, you, 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 if if you want to travel with an RV anywhere except for North America, you have to deal with the cassette toilet because that's that's how they do it. Uh, Raul Medina, I lived in Texas all my life and never been to Big Bend, so I'm really looking forward to that video. And that's not gonna be this Sunday's video. Spoiler alert: that's not gonna be the following Sunday video, but the one after that. It's not, I haven't finished editing it yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be good because I've already seen it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the U.S. would have bring in the cassette toilet to the bathhouse. And I hear people saying that you can drop that cassette toilet in any uh, toilet like at a McDonald's. That thing is four and a half gallons. It's 20 liters. I don't think a regular toilet can handle that much. Mm. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Stephen Pree will join us for five seconds with Illy when she <laughs> says, TMI, Robert. Well, you know. <laughs> uh, how, mo how about some RV traveling through Mexico? There may be a Baja series next year. Let's just put it though. If I can get the rig that I want... Uh, we might be going to Baja. Maybe not all the way down to like Yucatan or Merida or whatever, but at least to Baja. This, you know, and then we might, you know, expand. I'm gonna start using cassettes to rank my restroom visits. Okay, we we we've created a monster here. Wow, that was a two cassetter. Please don't judge me. <laughs> Uh, Red Jaguar says gross. Yeah, I agree. But you know, the, the one thing, good thing with cassettes, you know, on a black tank, and I'm sure you, Red Jaguar, you have like a like a hundred, uh, <laughs> not because you're a tall man, just because you have a big rig. You have like a hundred gallons of black probably, right? 
no matter how much of that blue stuff or the, the one that, that Matt says is kind of orangey, it still looks the same color. On a cassette toilet, you, you put one of those little tablets and the ratio of tablet to the other stuff is greater than on it. So it always comes out blue. So at least the, the, the color is not, you don't associate the color. <laughs> with, uh, never mind. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but would be fun. Let's do it. Yeah, let's change the subject. Someone texted me. Is this a... Okay, that was the realtor. Um, Alan Parr, good evening all. Are you going to watch one of your favorite... Ooh, it went off the screen. We are going to watch one of our favorite shows on HDTV, My Lottery Dream Home with Daber Broomstead, his great peace and love from... Okay, have fun. And that's probably what happened to Fate Unbound. They were tired of dealing with all that. A lot of people also do the, the composting toilet and they swear by it, but... Yeah. Where to after Moab? Are you heading south? Newspaper rock on the way to Canyonlands, Needles District, worth seeing. I don't know what we're going to do after Moab. Well, we have about 10 days until we have to be in Austin, Texas for the, for the eclipse. And we're just going to wing it. We're just going to live serendipity, serendipity at, the, at, the, at the wheel here. In a perfect world, I would love to see Telluride and go back to Uray and Silverton, maybe even Durango. But I have to look at the snow situation because I just realized that we are in mid-March still. So, so it, 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 there you go, the Lost RVers. I love it. I remember going from eight tracks to cassettes. There you go. I prefer reel to reel, to be honest, but hey... Anyway, everybody, I'm going to start wrapping this one up because uh, it's um, it's been so much fun hanging out with you guys. As you can see, it's looking up. We have kind of a hint of blue skies. And as you can see, there's a shadow projecting from those uh, pine trees. So the weather forecast may be improving. So we may maybe be going somewhere. And Nilly's showing me something, but I can't see it. Oh, big, 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 big Jim Slade celebrating three months as a chief Pelican head. And now, um, hold on, a.k.a. Santee Claus, new sister. Hi, Matthew Slade and your new sister. All right, we're going over time here. Thank you so much, everybody, for, for spending your, your Friday afternoon, evening Saturday morning, in the case of Remy Passion, Natalie, Natalie Driscoll, you know, all of all those of you on the on the Eastern Hemisphere, and um, those of you in Europe, like in Sweden, you know, staying up late late to watch us. We're here on the Mountain Time Zone, 5 p.m. Eastern, 5:01. Until next Friday, thank you so much for watching because I'm writing. Well, I have to finish my... Mm. It's good for my vocal cords. Riding in my RV wherever I want to be because I'm free in my RV. Thank you. And Ivera and Jose Caraballo. Hi, Robert and Lily. You're out of our, our way? Give us a call. Happy travels. If you're ever out, out our way, We'll let you know. We'll let you know for sure. Um, anyway, bye everybody. Have a great weekend and see you next Friday. Where are we going to be next Friday is the question. Let me see. Let me look at my calendar here real quick. Oh, we'll be in Moab. So next Friday from Moab, Utah. Bye everybody. <laughs>